uh, in this video i am going to explain about uh, electrical machine slab to experiment number 11 conduct suitable test to draw the equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor and determine performance parameters this is nothing but no load and blocker rotor test of single phase induction machine okay draw the equivalent circuit of the single phase induction motor by conducting no load test and block rotor test for this some of the uh, apparatus required uh, voltmeter 0 to 300 volt and 0 to 150 volt mi type uh, 11 okay ammeter 0 to 5 or 10 amps mi 1 wattmeter 10 amps 300 volt 1 and 10 amps 150 volt 1 both are upf unity power factor and tachometer which is used for to measure the speed of the motor and this diagram is open circuit test open circuit test in the sense we are not going to give any load to the motor only we give supply to the rotor motor and corresponding values we should measure okay uh, here single phase auto transformer is connected the output of auto transformer is connected to the motor through voltmeter ammeter and wattmeter the voltmeter V is parallel connected between phase and neutral and A is ammeter connected in series with the motor uh, and MLCV is the four terminals of the wattmeter M is connected to main L is connected to load C um, is connected common is common for uh, current coil and uh, potential coil and V is connected parallel between phase and neutral and uh, okay next one is the block rotor test uh, in the block rotor test, uh, we are connecting the same way what we connected in the um, uh, open circuit or no load test. Okay, only main difference is here we are connected a brake drum. The brake drum belt will be tightened as much as tightened. Okay, the motor should not rotate like that. The blocked the rotor is the rotor will be blocked. Okay, that's why it's called block rotor test. One caution we should take when we go for block rotor test we should not go beyond that rated current okay and procedure open circuit test connections are made as shown in the figure uh, keeping the single phase auto transformer voltage in zero out position the supply switch unit is closed by varying the single phase auto transformer the rated voltage of single phase induction motor is applied okay all the meter readings are noted down Normally, uh, single phase uh, voltage will be 220 or 230 volt. Okay. Uh, the st to stop the motor, the single phase auto transformer is brought back to the initial zero position. And then the supply voltage is S1 is opened. For the block rotor test, connections are made as shown in the figure. The brake drum of the induction motor is blocked. So, by keeping the single phase auto transformer voltage in zero position, by supplying switch is closed. By operating the single phase transformer very slowly, because it's a block rotor test. The voltage should not go very fastly okay and we should not apply the rated voltage here okay so we should apply the rated current for this machine so a low voltage is applied such that the rated current of the induction motor flows in the stator winding all the meter readings are noted down to stop the motor the single phase transformer is brought back to the initial zero or position loosen that belt of the brake and then open the supply okay here we are going to see the demo of this experiment no load and block through rotor test of single phase induction motor for that we are using one is single phase auto transformer another is multimeter acting as a voltmeter and ammeter and wattmeter why you are going for auto transformer because in it is a block rotor when it is block rotor test the current value should not exceed the rated current value for that purpose we are using the auto transformer once we increase the voltage corresponding ammeter readings you should take once we block the the rotor okay um, let me go for experiment okay switch on the power supply of auto transformer and increase the value of auto transformer the motor starts to run Now we should come and we should apply the voltage of 210 to 220.
10 to 10 uh, Once we apply the greater voltage corresponding ammeter reading, watt meter reading, we must uh, note down. That is for no load. For the block rotor, for the block rotor, first we must block the uh, rotor using this. Once we complete that experiment, uh, open circuit test, we get uh, voltage and current readings and uh, the short circuit test voltage and current reading and power ratings of the motor. Uh, based on that, uh, you should do the equivalent circuit of the single phase induction motor of uh, no load and block rod test and hence determine the equivalent circuit of the circuit phase uh, induction motor and OCS test. Uh, results okay um here are some of the uh, viva questions which will be important for the experiment and thank you